What's going on, you guys? This is Sterling from Lego Supreme, please. And tonight I'm here with a small Lego haul from eBay. So here's the first one. It's just a small little thing, and this is the bigger one. So the first one I'm going to open is huh, the smaller one. Let's open this one. Okay. Cut it down this. And inside, okay, so as you may have guessed, I've got the diner waitress here, and this one is the uh, gingerbread man. I have the gingerbread man. I have one of him. I just picked up another one because I thought he was really cool, but I never got her, so I picked her up. So let's get them built. Okay, so first I'm going to build this one because I've been so anxious to get her. I really like the hair piece and the pink ice cream the most. Alright, here she is. Her name is Tara. She has a name tag there. I like that real pale yellow look of her torso and legs. I like the pink roller skates as well. That's a neat touch. The hair, I was always seeing like this. I thought it was like a short hair piece, but I realized tonight that it is in fact a ponytail. So that's pretty cool surprise I didn't know about. On the back you can see um, the lighter yellow in comparison to the arms. It's a real rare yellow. I never really had it. She has a little white serving tray and you can balance different food items on there. She's taking out a ice cream treat to somebody. She's going to skate out and take it out uh, that's ordered it. It's a little tray. It doesn't stud on. It's a smooth surface. It does stud to her hand or any stud but take a look at the ice cream finally pink ice cream I like her um, old-fashioned cat eye glasses and she has a really big smile it's a really good minifigure and that's why I bought bought it to complete series what is this 10 no 11 series 11 the green series yeah. She is from this series of minifigures, 11. In case you're wondering. Next is one of the greatest minifigures they've ever come out with, the Gingerbread Man. He's so cool. I only got one. I picked up another one. So, let's get him assembled. All right, so here he is the one and only Lego gingerbread man. I like the little flicks on his plastic. You can kind of see little cookie marks. And the attention to detail is outstanding. He even he even comes with a cup that says dunk me, offering himself to you to eat him, which is kind of twisted. He has frosting decoration for eyebrows, mouth, his shirt and pants and shoes. Here's his side view. You can even see frosting there. More attention to flicks. And the inside there is like it's maybe something, a cream filled head. No printing on the back, not even one single cookie flick. And then on this side, the other is full cookie head and then flicks and frosting. So this minifigure is outstanding. It's a 10 out of 10. Alright, I'm going to cut the second one open. And I believe there's only one figure in here. Make sure his packing slips out of the way. And, dun -dun -dun. do you recognize it? It's the wig judge from like series 9 or 10. All right, this is clearly the judge from a couple series back in the in the minifigures collectible series. I never got this one. This was the only one. But now I've picked him up and let's just get him built. So here he is without the ape um 
gown on or his wig so you can see his torso printing really old-fashioned style and really nicely printed head as well without his gown on and finally here we see the completed wig judge he's got this really unique rolls of white hair that come all the way down a judge's gown that comes in two panels here and then on his back it looks like this So, you see his hair just in these ringlets of white hair. His accessory is this gavel, a wooden gavel, and it is really, really nice. There's a good look at it for you. Alright, so those are the three minifigures I just picked up from eBay in these little hauls. I also eBayed a saxophone player the same time I got these. But I got this by itself and didn't think it was worth a review. But I'll show it now. I really like this saxophone. I went feeling one time at Target like a month, uh, a month or so ago, and um, I only felt one sax player out of like feeling like sixty packs, and um, I bought that one. But I got another one. I really just like this one. He's like a the blues brother the saxophone so stay tuned for more reviews I've got um, bad cop pursuit coming up and please subscribe if you haven't and see you guys next time